it that attracted you to Drift Partners in Crime? Well, I think the whole uh, the whole package. You know, it's uh, it's an action driven series. It's uh, character driven because we had a lot of action series before in Germany, not that much, but some. But most of them were action driven, right? So uh, characters did what they had to do that the action happened. And uh, in this uh, um, story that we're telling, it's like a brother drama, but it's like a, a ping pong rhythm between drama and buddy comedy. And um, on, on the other hand, um, it's very character driven. You know, the characters do what they do and they are how they are. And then the, the um, if I allow to use that expression, the shit hits the fan, you know, it's... Uh, Tell me about the dynamic between these two brothers. How are they very different? What unites them? Well, the characters are very different from each other. So Ali is more like this, uh, um, yeah, I would describe him like a brown bear, you know, a very uh, a loving killer with a childish soul. And, uh, and, uh, I, um, and Leo is more his brother. He's like a fox, you know, very clever. Um, mixing poisons and uh, backstabbing. You know? <laughs> but I think the, the dynamic of this uh, um, brotherhood is like those two brothers grew up uh, together and Ali loved his brother. He did everything to protect him. And then a, a tragical accident happened. Their father died. And uh, they, they split somehow, you know. Um, they have to reconnect because of another drama that happens. And then they're like forced to face their past. There's a lot of action in this series. Tell me about the physicality of preparing for this role. It was quite intense. <laughs> so um, I do a lot of fighting myself. I do MMA and uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So the fighting sequences, whether it was a kitchen fight, street fight or uh, a cage fight, because my character, he somehow to face his demons he's fighting halfway illegal fights in a cage they were quite um intense but that's basically what i do so it was easy to 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 um to work on them and it was more like creating the choreographies and creating the style and uh it was uh, a pleasure doing it actually like a playground for little boys and little girls you know um being big <laughs> So um, it's uh, that was interesting. The whole the, the stunts with like crashing and stuff is work of stunt guys. And um, some parts and bits of the driving I did myself, and all the other stunts I did myself. So it was quite um, intense because we don't have the budgets like huge international productions have, but we need to compete with them. So we need to compensate, and we compensate that through manpower and through um, through schedule right so it's not like one or two stunts for me a day it was up to 35 stunts in two days <laughs> and then you know you're gonna have like 400 sprints on the next day chasing uh, a bad guy or climbing on the roof at bulk balconies you know so that was quite intense but it was also a lot of fun this is going to air across sky's wide international footprint and it's also being taken out to the international market so in your view, what is it that gives the show its international appeal to be able to play in really any market? What are those universal qualities? You know, it's always hard to say from your own point of view um, because uh, I'm so involved in this uh, whole series, but I saw the audience on the premiere. I saw uh, reactions and I think the, the dynamic of this, uh, um, the, the two leads, you know, the brothers is something that really um attracts people because there's a lot what they go through that people can relate to you know uh family drama family emotions uh it's not stereotypes you know we play and break a lot of cliches uh and the the story has like a very unique dynamic so the more they try to do the right thing, they get torn into the um, into the bad situation or worse situation. So every time they try to solve a problem, they create two or three more. So there's like a ping pong rhythm between action drama, um, light moments, dark moments, slow moments. So it's it's a very every time you think you got it, you understood where the series is going to, something else happens.
So this is a German language series, but it seems like nowadays any and all markets are open to airing programming in whatever the original language is. For you as an actor, what opportunities are you seeing as this drama business becomes increasingly global where language really isn't a barrier to a programming's legs? Well, I think it always has to fit in the story, right? So for me, it's quite interesting because I was always working outside um, and I, I act in six languages. So um, that's why sometimes privately I have this melange of a lot of accents and a lot of languages. But if I, if I prepare a character, you know, if I prepare accents, then it's quite uh, easy for me. So um, I was always like in French films, playing in French, Italian movies, playing Ita in Italian, um, English, uh, Norwegian, uh, German. So I think more and more because I'm from Germany, we, we are used to dubbing, you know, you're English. So you're probably not used to dubbing uh, films, but it's more and more that people switch and change to original and watch with subtitles because it gives you the, like this uh, international flair and gives you this uh, kind of um, feeling that it's authentic right especially when you see like French films uh, uh, in Hollywood uh, or like French stories told in, in, in Hollywood films everyone is speaking this American accent it takes away a little bit this uh, authenticity you know well, the series looks fantastic, and I'm excited to get to see the rest of the episodes. So thank you so much, for Ken, for talking with us. No, thank you. Thank you. It was a pleasure.